Hi, boys and girls. So we are going to try to make a sheep, just like this one here, if you can see him. He has got a head and eyes. He has, uh, put him up here. If you, oh, how can we see his feet? There they are. He has four feet and a tail at the back. So how we make this sheep, we'll stick them over there, is we need half of a toilet paper roll tube. So if you can cut a paper roll to paper, toilet paper roll tube in half, and then what we'll do is we'll take a whole bunch of cotton balls. So some people like to cut them up to make little tiny pieces, or you can take a big one and you can pull it kind of apart, not too much, because you want it to stay fluffy, but you can make it a little bigger by pulling it apart a bit. And so what we do is we will take the glue, so you can use a glue stick, and we will put a bunch of glue on our toilet paper roll tube. And we can put some fluffy stuff on it. So you might, you're going to cover, so the, the bottom hole is going to be where the feet go. And then you need to put some a bunch of fluff on the top. And of course, it sticks to your fingers if you get your fingers in the glue. It's yeah, it's kind of fun to do, but yeah, lots of sticky stuff on your fingers. So just know that we can pull it off after. We need to add a little bit more here. You can also cut them up in small pieces and add them that way if you want to. I'll just put a little bit more along here and here. Oh, and I got some brown there, so I want that. doesn't have any glue. Oh, look at that. Yeah, don't try doing that because you get all the glue stuck onto the glue stick. <laughs> that wouldn't be so good for the next time you want to use it. Okay, so then you get all that stuck on there. How's that look? Yeah, it looks something like a sheep. And then the next thing, oops, yeah, I'll rub that off. Maybe you can rub yours off too. Make sure the glue isn't sticking anywhere so you don't pull it off. Okay, that should be good. All right, we put our glue cap on our glue so it doesn't dry out. And now we'll make a face. So what we need is we need some black paper, or you could use black felt or black material or foam, whatever you'd like. And so we just cut a roundy shape for the head. I like to just make it all one piece. So I just cut the bottom of the head into a little narrower. So then my sheep head can you see that? Looks like that. You see? Okay, if I put it down here, you might be able to see it better. And then I can save one of these little pieces for the tail. But And then we need some eyes. Now, if you have um, some white paper, you can glue some white paper on. Oh, I need my glue stick again. And so remember how we did this at school where we put a little gob on our eye and push it down on our paper. So you can use googly eyes like I have here, or you can use a little bit of white paper, cut it in a little tiny round circle, and then put a black dot in the middle of your white circle. You need two of them and glue those on. Then we're going to put that onto our sheet. Now I'm going to use a glue gun. If you use a glue gun, you'll need to make sure that um, your mom puts that on so you don't burn yourself, okay? 
So put a little bit of glue. You can use like stick glue too. That will work. So there's my head on my sheet. Now, oh my goodness, I'm still a little sticky. Now I'm going to use or put on some feet. So we need a chenille wire. Can you see that there? I've cut my chenille wire in half. So you need two chenille wires and cut them in half. Or you could use the other half of your um, toilet paper tube and you could cut those into um, sheep's legs. But this I'm using this way. And so how I make them a little wider, because you see this sheep has wider legs on it. So how I do that is I take a pencil and I wrap my chenille wire or pipe cleaner around that pencil, just like so, and then pull it off. And I pull one part up like that. So I'm gonna use the glue gun to glue that little piece in place. And then I need to make another one. So I wrap it around. See how I'm wrapping it around? And you could, if you wrap it like that to make it tighter, push it all together and push that in and then pull it off so that you've got two little legs. Now, how many um, legs does a sheep have? Four, that's right. So I made two ahead of time, two more. So now I have four sheep legs. Can you see them there? And so now I'm gonna glue those onto the bottom of this. So we will put move that out. We'll do two back ones about right there. Glue that on. When you use the glue gun, it can be really quick in drying. So then you can play with your sheep a whole lot sooner. But you do need to have mom's help, okay? Or dads. Dads are good at this too because I don't want you to burn yourself. Burns hurt. You hurt a lot. So no burns today, okay? And then push those in there and wait just a minute till they get hard. And you see, now my sheep has four legs and he's losing some of his wool and he needs a tail. So. For a tail, you could use a pom-pom. I have one here, but I think I'm going to use a little bit of paper. And I'm just going to keep using my glue gun because it's out. And I'm going to take that there. So there is my sheep's tail. And there is my sheep. And I think I'm going to name him or her, maybe she'll be a girl, Shirley Sheep, or if it's a boy, Sheldon Sheep. You can name your sheep whatever you'd like. You could call them um, Lily Lamb, too, if you wanted to. It could be a baby sheep. So I hope you have fun making that sheep today. Thanks so much, boys and girls, for joining me. Goodbye.